1250, the voice of Central Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282. Or toll free at 888-545-9282. Your state, your home, your voice. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 737. Welcome back to Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Good morning. It's Burt. You ready for sunshine and 80 today? Yeah, that's what we're going to get. Full details of the forecast coming up 745. Traffic update, too, from Tom Colangelo. And your chance to win some New Jersey instant lottery tickets. Going to give you a chance to call in and win those in just a little bit, so stick around. All right, let us get right to the Miller Lite Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline because it's a Tuesday, and every Tuesday at this time we get together with our good friend Barry Blank from National Estate Jewelry Buyers for our segment that we call What's It Worth? And Barry, good morning and uh, welcome back to WCTC. How are you today, sir? I am wonderful. I want to give a quick shout-out to Ellen and her husband for the National Organization of Property uh, uh, Association of Property Organizers, who I did a lecture for last night, they say they look, they look to listen to me every Tuesday morning. Very nice, and good to have them, uh, of course, with us here. And we haven't had a chance to talk in a couple of weeks, Barry, but uh, good to have you back today. Uh, before we jump in uh, with today's topic, um, uh, a television star, the uh, the guy from uh, from Pawn Stars, uh, the old man, passed away over yeah. the weekend. So uh, in, the, in the pawn business, is it like anything else, Barry, where you have a will and you leave it to your family members and the business kind of continues? Uh, I know this is an industry that you're a part of now. So this will be just kind of business as usual, depending upon how the will and the estate are, are set up? Yeah, 100 percent. You know, uh, anybody with any assets whatsoever needs a will. You need a succession plan. You need uh, possibly, and if you don't have long-term care insurance, you must, must, must be set up in a, in a living trust or a living will. Not a living will, a trust, and that protects your assets. Okay, and I, I know that, that that show was something that sort of like uh, kind of raised some popularity about you and, and your, your pawn business and other ones around the country because of this, this TV show that people love so much, right? Certainly did, and I, I heard a story about a, a, a woman who is interviewed for a whole week for by uh, porn stars. Mm-hmm. And after the whole week, you know what they told her? She's too nice. There wasn't, <laughs> right. enough, there wasn't enough conflict to make a show out of it. Yeah, you're, you're a nice lady, but this is not going to work on television, right? Right. So I would never, I would never, you know, like Crazy Eddie. You know, I'm not Crazy Eddie. You know, you feel never Crazy Eddie Avatar. Our prices are, you would scream at his public. Our prices are insane. I remember. But, you know. You know, but uh, uh, but we're too nice. Gotcha. And I, that's a good. That's a good thing. But we're not sensational. That's all right. And, no, uh, it's, I'll tell. You know. I'll take nice any day, Barry. That's for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all thank right. You. Postage stamps. You know, I don't think in the in the time that we've been doing this segment, Barry, I don't think we've ever had the chance to talk about postage stamps. And you probably get the question all the time about are the postage stamps? Do they have a value or don't they? Is that something that you deal with a lot at the store? We deal with it so much, and the biggest issue right now is that people aren't mailing letters. You know, they're yeah. doing their now. They mail letters sometimes, but even I'm, I don't even know this for a fact. But even the greeting card business is is slowing down because everybody's sending e cards. Matter of fact, I got an e invite for a wedding. I got an e thank you for a wedding. <laughs> you know, I kind of scratch my head and I say, "What's this about?" You know. It's, Anyway, you should have just sent yeah, an e gift then instead, right? Yeah. Exactly. We do. We just did that for an engagement <laughs> party. They were registered to bed, bed, bed bath. And we did that also. <laughs> so, at any rate, just the changing first. times, right? Right. Yeah. yeah but yeah. stamps, I guess, uh, there's no demand for stamps. Doesn't that impact the value well, of them? I guess it would. It it a hundred percent impacts the value. The, the issue with stamps is. Uh, and, and with any collectible, there has to be a demand. There's always going to be a demand for fine and rare stamps. So, um, but but like modern stamps, modern stamps are anything in the last 20, 30 years. Uh, denominations are, are starting when I was a kid. It's five cents, four cents per postage stamp. What is it now? Fifty cents to mail a letter? I don't even uh, know. Something around that. I can't remember the last time I actually used a yeah. stamp for anything. Yeah. 
I know, I know. I, hope, I pay all my bills online. Yeah, but uh, but you know, so if somebody comes to me with a collection of stamps and their their uh, their plate blocks, which is four stamps on the corner of a sheet with the serial number or a whole sheet of stamps, mm-hmm. I'm so happy I didn't invest in stamps when I was a kid. My, <laughs> I had a friend in college it was when I was 20 years old who said to me, "You got to buy sheets of stamps because they only buy so many." Well, if you bought a sheet of six cent stamps with a hundred on the sheet, that's six dollars face value. Doesn't sound like a lot, but but if you buy a hundred sheets and you put sixty dollars, you know, or six hundred dollars into it, those stamps are now worth ten, twenty, thirty percent of the face value. Because how many six cent stamps do you have to put on an envelope to mail a letter? Yeah, you're right. So so when I'm looking at stamp collections and there's sheet stamps, I have to look them up. And I have to see, is there a demand? And if anybody wants to look up their stamps, I'll just suggest go on eBay, go on uh, sold items, and put in U.S. stamp with a six cents on it. If it's a picture of Jefferson, you put in Jefferson. As few words as possible. I see. And you're going to see a range, you'll see a range of prices. Okay. Uh, when, when someone brings uh, stamps to the store... Uh, are they like canceled and they somehow were able to get them off the envelope or are they just stamps that were purchased and you know, just never used? What do you see the most of? It, it's funny. It's funny because the kids today, you know what they call the stamps that they get in the post office? They call them the lick list. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they don't even know what it meant to, means to lick a stamp. Yeah, that's and, right. You know, and my father-in-law has this li- had this little tiny white porcelain rolling thing that, with a thing of water in it. They did, you know, they, when they were mailing his, his stuff, he would roll the stamp over the little thing and, and, and lick it. And so maybe that was lickless in the old days. But um, they, the steamed off stamps have little or no value. Wow. The canceled, canceled up postmark stamps have little or no value, with the exception mm. of something like the upside down Jenny stamp, which was an, a biplane. When they printed it, they accidentally put the plane, the picture of the plane, upside down, also <laughs> known as the upside down Jenny. And um, this stamp somebody mailed recently, and it was uh, uh, actually a few years back. It was a, 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 a rumor that it got mailed, and it was worth lots. And I don't even know how much money it was worth. But wow! Uh, how did they justify that? Did they say that? Well, this was a picture of the plane sort of doing a stunt. That's why it's upside down on the yeah. stamp. You no. Know? You can't, can't testify an error. But, but, but the funny thing the funny thing about stamps, errors, unless it's a rare stamp, don't help the value. See, that was my okay. next question, because coins, a lot of times that have mistakes, when they do a stamping or whatever of a coin, the value goes up because of the error, but not the case with stamps? Well, unless it's a rare stamp, like the Upside Down Jenny. Wow. But the in, in, in stamps, the value goes up if the more centered the stamp is on the perforations that and and if somebody wants to call in and let me know i'm wrong that's fine i'm happy to hear it but this is what i know more centered you know? okay more centered no space around the uh exactly the same space all around the, the stamp but you know my my dad had some really early american stamps and he sent a lot of them out for certification i don't even know which company mm-hmm. but when we went to sell them i don't even think he got the cost of the certification back wow so the question is, you know, what what is it worth to do? Is it worth to send it out or is it not? We have this issue with coins all the time. So yep. uh, we've got to be really careful. Very interesting. Uh, what's uh, the uh, Madness Sale, the June Madness Sale? It's just about the end of June, Barry, but uh, this current event is going to be going through early July. You want to talk about what's going on with that? Well, uh, Sandy, who works in my uh, showroom in my store, is doing an amazing job. We're selling thousands and thousands of dollars every week. She is personally pricing all my costume jewelry at amazing prices. Uh, silver jewelry, like $2 a gram plus some, some things that really light things. But can you imagine buying a pair of earrings for $5, 8 $12? Nice yeah. earrings. Yeah. You know, and uh, we're, we're going to continue going that through the weekend after Wednesday, after July 4th. Okay. Right through Saturday. All right. Very cool. And uh, you had a couple guys, uh, Barry, who joined us at our health and wellness fair. It's, it's been so long since we talked. I have had a chance to thank you for that. Uh, they came out to Bridgewater my, Commons Mall about a month ago. Yeah, yeah. And, Jess, Jesse Seltzman, who is my, my son or my wife's son, but mm-hmm. I consider him my son. And he actually calls me his dad. 
That's great. And then Jimmy, Jimmy worked for me too, and he just they just did a great job. Yeah, you know? they, they, they were was, terrific. I actually purchased a couple of uh, a couple of rings, a couple of estate rings that were just beautiful. I have to say they were really great, and uh, my wife just loved those too. So thank you for that. It's my pleasure. Really good and stuff. Always, and we have a no questions asked return policy, not for you. Not for you. You got to keep it. But, <laughs> right. but no, just so everybody knows, you want to change it, you want to exchange it. We, we are really, really client client oriented. No, that's great, and thank you for that. And uh, dealers are welcome to come to the store, Barry. Uh, what, what kind of dealer would show up there? And anybody, we we get flea market dealers, we get antique dealers, we get people who sell on eBay online. We get everybody coming in, and I, I will work with them on everything right across the board, whether it's an expensive diamond or an inexpensive. Gold or silver ring or custom jewelry. If they buy, the more they buy, uh, it's better. I just sold a bag, a, a bag of uh, uh, not exp- not Louis bags, but designer bags for like two hundred dollars to somebody who's a wow. dealer. Wow, excellent stuff. All right, good stuff, Barry. Thank you again uh, for being Bye. on. Uh, What's it worth here today? Uh, we'll talk again next Tuesday, uh, my, my friend. And, and good to talk to you. And, and thanks for everything you're doing. All right, and, and continued success. And thank you for the airing. All right. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. There he is, uh, Barry Blank. And, uh, what-